It's your boy Nirmal Gunner in the house, back with another bang on video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, bigger news for you guys. It is a transfer news triangle. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, here Arsenal are trying to work out somehow, somehow, masterminding the transfer uh, news and the successful uh, signing of Thomas Partey. But all they are stuck with is how exactly it should be done. Whether it, it could be a loan deal that that uh, has a, a, a necessary, a, a compulsory purchase option, or uh, or it is it comes with a different caveat. How exactly Arsenal are going to pay uh, if they are actually going to trigger the release clause? Or the biggest problem and the biggest news that's actually coming uh, coming in is Liverpool. Are you know Thomas Partey has been offered to Liverpool in exchange for Alex Oxley Chamberlain, or could Alex Lacazette be a part of the transfer deal? But the problem is, I believe that Alex Lacazette transfer deal is definitely not going to happen. Because though Atletico are interested in a player, but he is at the wrong side of uh, you know uh, his age to be a part of Atletico. Because right now, they're, in, they're actually investing in the youngsters. The whole and sole purpose of actually investing in Alvaro Marata and Shao uh, Felix was the biggest reason why they're actually looking for the future. And so, since Xiao Felix has not been the uh, the sole goal provider, I think they would want to wait uh, how exactly he would turn out to be in the coming seasons. But Alex Lacazette, nah, it's not happening. Moving on, Sven Mislintat is working transfer magic again to leave Arsenal ruining decision. Well, Arsenal's former head of recruitment has made some good signing, signings since leaving the Emirates and becoming sporting director of VFB Stuttgart. Well, we all know that there was a there was an element of shock about uh, Arsenal's head of recruitment, Sven Mislintat's departure from the Emirates. And in the late 2017, the former Borussia Dortmund scout had initially been bought in to help revolutionize the club's transfer strategy. But however, he left. And he's, before leaving, he said this, last summer there were leadership changes at Arsenal. It had actually been agreed that I would become technical director. So then I would be around the team on a daily basis. But the new leadership had their own agenda and other candidates. On top of that, we had different approaches. So it did not work. But why exactly am I talking uh, to you guys? Because Miss Lintard is doing wonders. Because he left Arsenal and joined VFB Stuttgart as a sporting director in Bundesliga 2 with the aim of helping the 2007 German champions return to the top flight and something approaching past glories following relegation. Miss Lintard would return to England as part of his recruitment drive to convince Liverpool to loan him Nathaniel Phillips with the centre-back currently first choice at his temporary club, while another one of his summer acquisitions in Hamadi al Gadiwi, oh my god, Gadiwi is the club's top scorer in all competitions with eight goals so far. Another Miss Lintard signing is 20-year-old Congolese forward Silas Wamangituka. He brought in for £7 million from, from Paris FC, has scored six times in all competitions this season for the club, including the consolation in a 2-1 DFB Pokal defeat to Bayer, Lever Bayer Leverkusen. Other signings that has impressed including defender Pascal Stenzel, a loanee from Freiburg, who has featured more than any other player in the league, and goalkeeper Gregor Kobel. And Stuttgart would also bring in a new manager in the form of Tim Walter, who was tasked with helping the club making an immediate return to the top flight. A blistering start saw the club drop just four points in their opening eight matches in the league before a dramatic dip in form saw Walter sacked in December after a run of just three wins in ten. Pellegrino Matarazzo was brought in as a replacement and, and has won seven of his 11 matches in charge, leaving the club second in the table, six points behind Armenia Bielefeld. Let's see how everything goes up with Sven Mislintat and his team. Well, it remains to be seen uh, how exactly his eye for talent will benefit his new club long term. But should the club successfully achieve its goal as far as promotion is concerned, the ex-Arsenal man will certainly receive some well-deserved credit for his Excellent work. Well, it's it's. Uh, I, I I actually had to uh, share something really funny with you guys. Yesterday, the president of Ghana had addressed the nation on a national TV about coronavirus. It was also a live on. It was live on Facebook, and one fan, and the fans were really mad because they took to their phones to ask the president of Ghana of Thomas Partey was signing for Arsenal or not. They actually in the comment section they were commenting. Uh, Mr. President, will Thomas Partey sign for Arsenal? Unbelievable. I mean, all you Ghana, Ghana uh, all you Gunas from Ghana, 
well i love you guys you guys are unbelievable this is madness and if you guys are showing this kind of madness i can understand your love for arsenal and why you guys want i just, i just love you guys if you if you're hearing this video anyone from ghana i love you man unbelievable moving on the entourage of leyman kurzawa has offered the player to inter milan juventus arsenal manchester united and newcastle and the biggest problem is uh, his salary his demand and the demands are is a net salary of 6 million euros per season for the next 5 years that my friend is just a huge huge amount of money i don't know if that's that's that that is sh that should be done but let's see how that turns out to be well mesut ozil ozil's agent has publicly come out and ruled out any move away from arsenal this window he insists that whatever happens ozil will remain an arsenal player for this season at the very minimum and that has to be seen moving on arsenal still remain interested in the services of adrian rabio for the season the club already has contacted his mother for a loan deal in january they did but that did not happen uh, let's see how things uh, things then turn out to be but well the agent of arsenal target dai pamecano indicates that his client will leave leipzig next, next summer as a free agent he says i don't believe in large transfers this summer and i think pamecano is a player who will demand a large fee so the statement has already been made and that is huge well former arsenal striker julio baptista speaks about mikel arteta he says arteta is a young coach who has the chances to be successful and needs the club he must he must feel confident it is a long term project and if he is given time then he will deliver the results but he must be shown patience well premier league stars are being offered incentives including hints of new contracts by their clubs to back project restart with concerns over the use of dirty tricks to get players to sign covid-19 code of practice agreements i don't know if that is i i would want to share a very uh Sad news with you guys. Young Atlanta midfielder Andrea Rinaldi has passed away after suffering a brain aneurysm during a training session. He was only 19 years of age. Rest in peace, Andrea. I mean, this is just devastating. Well, these were the news of the day. I hope you enjoyed whatever came your way. All the views and news and everything about Arsenal comes from every single day twice. So please help me reach 4,000 subscribers. All you can do, I've actually seen that you guys are watching my videos and you haven't subscribed. Majority of you have haven't subscribed. So subscribe to the channel if you're loving Arsenal. Why not? You know, show the love for Arsenal by subscribing to this channel. I will see you in my next video. Until then, cheers.